where can subqueries be used? In all these places. Let's go through an example of each. Let's start with select clause. Here's a simple query which showed us which showed us a select clause embedded in the select statement. So we picked the show date and the name of the category from the show table by using a subquery into a category table. And here we have it, date and category name. The where clause. Here's an example using the where clause. We selected columns from the show table and made sure that the category ID value in the show table was in the rock popular category on the category table. So let's run that query. And that's our answer. We ordered by clause. Here's an example of using a subquery in the order by clause. The having clause. Here we're selecting the name from the category, we're counting it and grouping it, and we're insisting that the name from the category must be any of these items which are actually in the category table, but the point is made. We can put a subquery into the having clause. The from clause. We've seen this before. What I've done is I've selected everything from the category table, passed it up into the calling query, and I've simply counted all the rows. I get 34 rows. The insert values clause. In this case, I'm going to insert a new record into the category table, and instead of using the sequence I'm going to select the maximum category ID and increment it by one to get the next category ID available. And I'm going to add a category name of temporary. And actually, I'm going to roll it back afterwards to make sure that I don't store that row and mess up my data. Point is made. The update statement. In the set clause of the update statement. And here's an example. I'm going to set the parent ID to null, but the category is not in this subquery, which selects a category ID from the category table where the parent is not null. So what is this query actually doing? What this query is actually doing is selecting all categories with a parent, and it's going to change every parent and set it to null where it's not in categories with a parent. In other words, since these values are already null, it's not really doing anything, but it's simply not destroying any data. And there you can see it working. A case statement expression. Since the case statement is PLSQL, I've left it out for the moment. A function parameter. LPAD is a function. So I can certainly pass a subquery into parameter of this function. This is actually the character that is used to pad. Now if we do a select from dual, we'll find we come up with a value of x. That's the default selection from dual. So what's going to happen is it will select left pad, pad out that string xxx to 10 characters on the left with the capital letter x. That is where subqueries can be used as function parameters, in a case statement expression, in the update statement set clause, in the insert values clause, in a from clause of a select statement, the having clause of a group by clause, the order by clause, the where clause filtering, and the select clause.